drawing a coffee and a donut. It's gonna be so fun, so let's draw. So you're gonna need a black, we're gonna use a black marker, right? A marker. Yeah. But if you wanted, you could use colored pencil or crayon or, you don't even have to make it black, just as long as you make it like, I don't know, purple or blue, not a really light color. Not Dark pencil, green. dark green, light, or pen, not pencil, not pencil, not pencil. Or if you really wanted, you could do like pencil, then a, like draw over it, but we're not gonna do that, right? No, we're not what, gonna what else do you need? Paper. Paper. And at the end, what are we gonna need? Some colors. Some colors. But we'll tell you about them at the end. For now, let's draw. First, we're gonna draw the donut, then we're gonna draw the coffee. So it's a really small circle, pretty small circle. Oh, and we're holding our paper sideways. That nah, we forgot to tell you that. And then draw a bigger circle around it. And then you can just draw like some like just some curves and zigzags for the frosting. I thought the frosting was the west of the frosting. Nope, actually, some of the frosting was licked off. Oh. <laughs> so then we're gonna add some sprinkles. So just dots. Yeah, just some dots or lines. Ready? Oh, and we can go back and add more sprinkles at the end if we want. Uh -huh. But now let's get to drawing the coffee. So we're gonna draw. Wherever you have room, you could draw it down here, over here, you, you're gonna draw a U. Even though it's summertime, we're gonna draw some hot coffee. And then just a line to connect it at the top. And then a C over here. And another C inside of it. Oh, and if you want, you could draw one over here. If you want, you could draw one over here for like, maybe you got your coffee from somewhere that begins with a C, right? but they have like the symbols backwards, I don't know. And then just draw like some zigzags for some steam lines. You don't have to do this part, but it'll make it look more like coffee if you do. And then if you want, you could write coffee on here, but you just did a C maybe for coffee. I do it There's two F's in coffee. Oh. So there's two F's in coffee. Okay. So we finished drawing it, but we'll be back with the colors in a second. So we're back with our colors. We have a dark blue for the coffee mug, a pink for the frosting of the donut, a yellow for the outside of the donut, and some of these colors so that we can add colored sprinkles if we want. And just a tip, you might want to put a cloud around the word coffee, because if you do color it with dark blue, just like we do, um, it might blend in a little, so yeah. We're coloring with marker, right? But, but what else could you color with? Lieutenant's paint. Oh yeah, that would be cool to draw something, or color something with paint. Cut a pencil's tan. Yep, so let's color. But Lieutenant's. Yeah, you can use markers, but let's color.
because I did a yellow donut with pink frosting, and what did you do? A pink donut with white frosting. The most important thing is to have fun, so we hope you had a lot of fun drawing with us, right? Right. And we will see you next time. Goodbye!